absolutely nailed it. Julia Tano coming in right now. The nature, the mountains, the places I've traveled. She's the only woman to ever do a double cork on a scaffolding. The highs, the lows, the medals I've won, the disappointments I've dealt with, the injuries, And the combat. Nice, Julia. Lacing up the left side. My will to get back. The drive to get Tied better. For third. If she can improve here, she can pull above. And oh! Oh, the, the things that went wrong. And the things I've learned from. Big deal for Julia here today. Coming back and getting a medal, especially. My love for skiing. My goals and dreams. The people who support me, my teammates and my family. The hours spent at physio. The sweat and tears in the gym. And the many hours on snow and on the road. All of these things have brought me to the place I'm at now and have been part of my journey. A journey that's not over anytime soon. Do you ever think you make it this far with free skiing? No, I never thought I would make it this far. My dream was just to, like my first dream was to make it to the Swiss free ski team. And when I reached that, I was kind of surprised already. So yeah, then it just went on and on and I never thought that it, I would make it this far. pressure I feel from myself because I want to do well. The whole competing thing is really nice but everything around it is what I live for. I think it's just so nice to go ski with my friends and progress and then the competing is just a, kind of the end stage where you can actually show what you've been working on but to just have that combination of everything makes the whole thing special. I did some cork sevens and then the boys were like, oh, you could go top 10 on that. And I knew I kind of know how to do the trick because I've done it on water ramps. I didn't really get it. I crashed. Yeah. And that was actually my big plan for, for that Audi 9s to go there and try the top 10 again because it was end of the season. It was soft and I thought it was the perfect time. Yeah, I don't know, I got completely lost in the air. I didn't really get the trick 100% yet in, in my head. And I got hurt, I broke my wrist pretty bad. I don't know, then I got kind of scared to do it again because I was like, what if next time I try it, I get lost again and I don't know how to do it? Straight away from the airbag, I went to Stubai and that was the, the goal to do it there and I tried it and landed it first goal. So then I worked on it for a couple of weeks there. Score it! Score it! And then the Milano World Cup came up and yeah, I, I was thinking like why not try it there if it worked so well before. So I was kind of scared to try it, but then yeah, when I tried it, it was a big relief as well to know that that it works and that was my goal for the whole competition there to just no matter the result to go and do that trick and it worked out and that was pretty cool. And there it is, the oh double cork. My goodness! The first double cork of the day for the women and wow, puts it down. the 
the top spot. And I'll tell you. I felt better than ever almost on my skis and I think I showed that with my skiing there that, that I felt confident. I was at the start gate and I was talking with Greg. We both didn't think that I can still like land on the first place to be honest and, and Greg told me yeah do the best up 10 like you've ever done. Yeah when I saw the score I was surprised. <laughs> It was always kind of close to first place, but just never really made it. To get back from an injury and then land on the first place, it was very special. Of course, every free skier's dream that starts to compete is X Games in the end. So at the beginning, when I saw X Games, I was for sure thinking that I want to end up there. And then when I got my first invite, it was unreal. I was so excited to podium on my first X Games already it was insane, like I couldn't really believe it. It's one of my favorite events. I haven't really realized that until this year, that I've actually gotten hurt at X Games in Aspen a lot. I don't really know why and I'm trying to figure it out. I really wanted to try a new trick. So I kind of rushed myself into things like I need to hurry up, I need to hurry up and at some point I was like oh I'm just gonna do a dub 10 now because I wanted to like get it done. I was on the takeoff but already set the trick so I, I felt that I was slow but I couldn't really do anything about it anymore because stopping the trick isn't that good of an option as well. Yeah, so I landed like one meter short and then front flipped off the knuckle, kind of. And I knew, like I straight away knew that my arm was fully broken. Ooh.